Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today is day 12 gameplay of the Sandbox game Alpha. Now, day 12 gameplay was launched with Path to Aldrac and Aldrac Garrison. Now, these two were becoming available uh, on February 10th, and then they don't release anything on day 13, which is Saturday. They don't release anything on Sunday either. So here is the gameplay for day 12. Now, if you don't have the Alpha Pass, there is four different experiences that you can still keep playing, uh, you know, somewhere here in the center. Now, if you're still looking to win one of the Alpha Passes, there is 5,000. You do want to make sure you head over into the Sandbox Game uh, Twitter account. This is where they put different contests. They'll say day 12, day 14, day 15, day 16, things like that. Just copy whatever's going on with the contest and hopefully you'll be able to be one of those lucky winners. Now, uh, the other way you can win is by going over into the Sandbox Game YouTube channel because they do live streams. And during these live streams, I believe it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, one of those two. Um, but there is some live stream gameplay that's going on. And during the live stream, uh, Alex Flores, right down over here in this little image, he actually gives away one NFT and two alpha passes per each live stream. So if you don't win one from Twitter, make sure you, you subscribe to the Sandbox Game YouTube channel and you watch the live streams. So for day 12 over here, we will be doing uh, these two games here, these two experiences, which is Path to Aldrac and Aldrac Garrison. So here is Path to Aldrac. We're gonna go through and hit on play. Now, I also want to let you guys know, too, that some of these are very simple. They're basic, easy, running around, looking at different locations. There was a few different experiences that was pretty crazy with parkour and, and fighting and things like that. But just so you guys know, there's a lot of experiences that should be launching, uh, you know, during 2022 and 2023. There's going to easily be over 5,000 experiences slash games that you're able to do along with multiple different exclusive concerts, you know, with Dead Mouse, uh, Snoop Dogg, some cool experiences with like Adidas, so many big, huge partners, you know, as a part of the sandbox metaverse. So for day 12, you'll want to run over into the metaverse guide just to see, you know, what he is uh, offering you and telling you what to go, you know, take a look at. So here's the three main points of interest. Mysterious throne, hero statue, and aban an abandoned house. So all you got to do is just go through and say that you're going to do it. Now, this one's actually very, very simple and easy. Um, we're just going to go to three different locations. That's going to be those little yellow targets that you see on the screen. So there's like one below me, which means it's behind, one to the left, and then one over and to the right. Uh, now, here is that mysterious throne. So all you got to do is just take a look at it, run up to it. Now, a lot of these different uh, levels and experiences, they have a bunch of different NFTs kind of scattered around. So this one right here, you can take a look at it. This one was uh, created by Board Ape Yacht Club, and it's owned by the Sandbox game. So if you're looking for this NFT, you can actually find it here in this experience, uh, and it can take you directly over into the marketplace that you're able to purchase it. Now, if you're still new to the game, your mouse is what moves your direction, your camera. You do have your shift, which is running, or if you press it once, it gives you a little dive. Uh, and if you press on the space bar, it's gonna make you jump. So here is the hero statue. So how about we just move back a little bit. Let's take a look at this one really quick. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, the other one I like over here is this this one, it's like an homage over in a Pac-Man. So if you read this one here too, uh, you can take a look at it read it, view it in the marketplace. But I think that this one was a really cool NFT. All right, so now we're gonna head over to the very last location and then we'll actually move to the next experience uh, that was launched today for day 12. Abandoned house. So here, you know, if you want to, you can actually run through, you can explore. You could probably jump on top of some of these houses, uh, going through some of their doors things like that. Um, but for this one, I really mostly just want to run into all of these locations and then move over to the next experience. Now, I'm very curious if you can maybe parkour some of these items and, you know, see how high you can go. But how about we head over, we're going to hit on O for options, and then E to exit the game, and then heading back over into the map. So back over into the map, you can see that if this was your first time playing it, you'll have your now green check mark, which means you visited it and you've completed the alpha quest. So now we're moving over into Aldrac Garrison. This is the next location that was for day 12. And let's head over and hit on play. Now just remember one very important thing is when you do get the alpha pass, if you were to get the alpha pass and when you get to level five and you earn your 1000 sand and you get your three exclusive NFTs, just make sure that you guys keep that alpha pass 
because if you get rid of it before December 20th, uh, you cannot claim those play to earn, uh, you know, rewards. So make sure you keep the alpha pass. Don't get rid of it. Don't sell it. Don't move different wallets, things like that. Make sure you hold on to it because you're, you're going to need it on December 12th, uh, 20th to actually claim all of those rewards. All right. So here we go. We're going to find our metaverse guide, hit on speak. And let's take a look at where he wants us to go. Uh, take a look at these six points of interest. Lion's Town, Axe Island, Guard Patio, Temerary Tavern, The Throne Room, and Aldrekberg. <laughs> All right, let's go through. Let's go do it. Um, looks like the first one we'll be able to find is actually directly right in front of us. So we're going to head up these stairs. And here is our first location. So this is Guard Patio. Um, and sometimes, too, you can run into other um, uh, bots in this game, and they may possibly have some exclamation points above them. And if they do, uh, there's additional quests that you're actually able to play. And here's the second location, Throne Room. And if you wanted to, you can go up here and take a look. Uh, here is another NFT that you can take a look at. Uh, so this one was created and owned by the Sandbox game. Again, you just go to view in marketplace if that is one of those that you're interested in uh, in terms of purchasing and maybe throwing it up on your land. Now for the third one that I'm going to run over into, I'm going to head right in this area. Um, and the thing that's actually pretty fun about this area over here is that there is going to be another quest that you're able to do. Um, I believe there's a man over here that you know lost a few of his bears and you can actually find some of his bears. So here is Axe Island, which you know, self-explanatory with its name. So let's head on down and we're gonna move over this way. Because when we move this way, you can see that this man right here has a little exclamation point. And if you speak to him, he's gonna ask you to find uh, some of his lost bears. And so uh, I'm gonna show you probably where one or two of those are located. So what we're gonna do first is head down because this is where the temporary tavern is located. Again, I'd, I'd suggest, you know, I'm kind of running through this pretty quick. I highly suggest just kind of running through and, uh, you know, experiencing things, exploring some things, you know, taking your time just a little bit. So now we're going to head up this uh, tall ladder. Now, as you get to the top of this ladder, you're going to see a bear standing right here. This is actually one of the bears um, that that guy is asking you to help find. Now, when you do select that quest, you will notice a little exclamation point above it, kind of like that yellow one you see there. Uh, and then here is a second bear that you'd be taking a look at. And I believe there's four or five that you would be looking for. Uh, so here is our fifth location, which is called Lion's Town. And here's another quest you can do from a bot. So if you speak to this guy right here, that means you're going to have to run around this map looking for beacons. Uh, and then those beacons, you know, they'll have little targets on them that you're running around, just kind of like what we're doing right here. Um, but again, it's just another quest that you're able to do. It's pretty fun. And so now we're going to go up to the middle, and here's Aldrichberg. And we are basically done with the entire quest. So if you're looking for, you know, the Alpha Pass progression, this is all you would have to do running to these locations. So this is just a small town, uh, you know, a little market, food. Um, you have some vegetables, some fruits, things like that. And I think if you run through here, it's going to put you into a small little town. <laughs> so little shacks, little houses. You got a man just sitting right up over here. And if you want to, you can actually speak um, to him just to see what was going on. So this is all that I wanted to show you with this game is that there's a couple quests built in uh, for you to find some bears as well as finding some beacons. And then again, those are found just by looking for this little exclamation point right there. Uh, but yeah, these are all the locations that you would have to visit to do your alpha pass progression. So now we are done with this, let's head back over to the map and let's close out the video. And now that we are back to the main page here, you can see green check mark, uh, visited, alpha quest completed. That is what you are looking for. Uh, now we don't have another, you know, uh, um, you know, level coming out until Monday, which is day 15. We'll have Tropical Park. It's going to be one of these locations and you'll see a little exclamation point, meaning that there is something new for you to play. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll also like the other video on the right hand side. And 
I'll see you guys later.